Hey there. Today we're going to be talking about this pen. Notice that I was slow at first and then I made up for it in speed. Uh, this is a very pretty pen that I quite like. Uh, it is made by Asvine. Asvine contacted me and said, would you like to review one of her pens? I have reviewed at least one of their pens I remember in the past. I said, sure. This is the P80. It's reminiscent of another pen I have reviewed from Asvine, except that was a flat top. This is a round top. I like round tops. It's just a personal thing. Nothing wrong with a good flat top, but I, given the choice, I would prefer this. I like the shape better. Anyway, very kind thank you to Asvine, Asvine, for sending me this. I appreciate it. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I will do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, so here we go with the Asvine P80. A little bit of information. The pricing is a little complicated. You can buy these on Etsy. Um, it's $49.57. That is Canadian. That's You can pick whether you get a box or not. And if you don't buy the box, it's a little cheaper. But then it depends. The price depends a bit on what kind of nib you want. So if you want the regular nib that I have, and it'll show you, it's $53.83, but if you want a Bach nib, uh, which you can also get, looks like number six, then it would be $67.99. It would still be steel, but there are consequences because the regular nibs are either extra fine, fine, or medium, but the Bach nibs are extra fine, fine, medium, broad. So if you want a broad nib, you have to invest in the Bach nib. Okay, I'll talk a bit more about the pen, but first I'll show you the box. Clearly, I shredded it. I simply could not open this without shredding it. Um, but here's a cardboard overlay. That's kind of nice. It's a simple, uh, simple cardboard overlay, and then you have this nice sort of plastic, not sort of, it's plastic, plastic box, which I kind of like. You have a little baggie with a wrench, various wrench bits, like tools and terrible description but you know what I mean like you can do different things with this which I thought was kind of fun and I'm going to have fun disassembling this and I'll probably end up doing a disassembly line at some point because this looks like there are multiple bits and bobs to use okay so there is that then there is the pen condom and then there is a little information booklet which has information on how to fill it um, and um, I don't see any immediate information on how to use the wrench, but I'm sure Hamish McNag, our old friend, can figure it out. Okay, pen lies in the box like this, and here we have the actual pen. I will show you this pen right next to a Pilot Metropolitan, which I forgot to grab, but it's always within arm's length for comparisons. I'll zoom in so you can actually see things. And here we have the pen. So we talked about the price. The body of the pen is acrylic. It has a metal overlay of a nondescript metal. I don't, I don't know what metal it is. Uh, as I said, comes with the wrench. I've shown you that. It's a fairly heavy pen, 55 and a half grams that is inked up. So it's, it's really, it's solid. It feels quite solid. And there's a couple of things I really want to point out that I think are quite nice. So let's go over this pen bit by bit. Here we have the finial, nice, it looks like a chrome finish or something. It is certainly very shiny. We have the clip, pretty stiff. And then we have this, this overlay. So this one is blue with a sort of chrome colored overlay, but there are other finishes. So you can get red acrylic with a gold overlay, for example. There is a nice smoky gray. You buy these on Etsy and uh, there are different finishes available. Here we have the Asvine uh, logo. And then on the other side, it says P80. And I wanted to point out that this is really nicely made. I found that really quite nice. I'm going to use my little probe here from, this is a uh, Laban letter opener. Um, look how nicely this cap tapers. It's pretty good eye for detail, especially in this price class of pen. I have seen a lot worse. So this is nicely done, nicely rounded off. Uh, and then you have, of course, the barrel, which tapers down ever so slowly. And here we have a piston turning knob. Again, round top and no longer the flat top of the other model. I cannot remember the model name, but if you go to my website, look at the index of all my reviews, you will find that Asvine review. And uh, it was very similar, similar type overlay, similar type acrylic. 
but flat top. Okay, the cap unscrews and then revealed is this section. You have these pretty big threads. And once again, these are not at all sharp. Really nicely done. This edge too, very nice, rounded off. Nothing here is sharp and will cut into your skin. Then we have the taper down and the slight flare out of the section. And we have the nib. This looks like a number six nib that happens to be slid in quite far. So it, it does look like a number six. It may look a bit smaller because it doesn't stick out so far. On there is some scroll work. It has an M for medium uh, and it says Asvine. Uh, and this looks a bit like that, that medium. That is something you see on Schmidt nib. So I don't know if this is a Schmidt nib, but it's that same M that Schmidt does. And we have a sort of flat um, feed. And that's it. Now, I'm not going to show you how it works because there's ink in there, but it's a piston filled pen. So there, there you have it. What we should see is how it writes and that we will move on to right now. So here we have Asvine P80 medium steel uh, and the ink is uh, Conway Stewart blue. It's just a washable blue, but I thought it would go reasonably well with this body. I will say it's a slightly drier ink. You saw the two skips. There was one here and there was one there. Um, it's not the wettest pen I've ever used. It's a slightly drier ink. I, I don't find it too dry. It, it writes without pressure quite nicely. Uh, no, not, not there. Okay, okay. It writes without pressure quite nicely. Um, could be a little bit wetter, but that's easily fixed. It's not the absolutely smoothest nib I have ever used in the history of fountain pens, but it's by no means scratchy. I, would, I might smooth it out a little bit. Okay, line variation. So definitely a round nib. I'm pushing this a bit harder than I would recommend anyone to do, but I mean, it's a review, I'm just curious. So it looks to me, uh, if you go slow enough and preferably use slightly wetter ink, You could certainly squeeze out a bit of line variation. It's not a flex nib. I wouldn't recommend anyone to do that. I'm just saying that's something that for the review that I do. Okay, how about reverse writing? If you enjoy such a thing. Well, it's smooth, but as you can see, it runs definitely quite a bit drier. I think with a wetter ink, you might be able to get away with a couple of words, but I wouldn't expect to do 50 pages like that. But then you could also just buy the fine or the extra fine nib, right? So there is that, Asvine, aka Asvine. Let's talk about likes and dislikes for the P80. What do I like? What do I not like about this pen? I was zoned out for a second. <laughs> I wasn't. Um, there's a lot that actually I quite like. The first thing I noticed when I, when I opened the box, took it out, is it feels solid. I weighed it, came in at a funny weight, 55.5 grams. So that is certainly on the heavy side as pens go. I mean, obviously, as you can see, quite a lot of metal on it. I kind of like the metal section, but I know that there are people who hate it. Uh, then don't buy it uh, because it's only going to be a frustration and you end up binning it. So metal section is not for everyone. I don't really care. So I, I think it's quite nice. I like it. I have not found it slippery, but I mean, again, that's me. I don't have a thing against metal sections. I really like that. The weight, it adds to the pen for me. It feels very solid. It feels well made and what I really like is that the overlay is pretty nicely rounded off. It does not feel sharp to the touch. 
I mean, depending on how hard you end up rubbing that, it, it, you may feel some edges, but nothing is sharp enough to cut yourself on or something. And I have seen that in other pens, not from this brand, but I mean, I have seen less proper finishes. Let's put it that way. So I like that. I like it's a piston filler. That's pretty neat, especially for a pen this price. I mean, you're looking at about $54, $68. That was Canadian, um, as I described before. Depends a bit on the finish, whether you want a box or not. I also really like that they give you an option to just not buy a box. And you just get a little bit of a discount. And just, why, 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 you know, if you don't need the box, why, why get it? You, know, you just want the pen. I think that's pretty neat. I think it's a fair price, and I think it's especially a fair price for a solidly made pen with a piston filler, large ink capacity. I mean, that's, that's quite a lot of ink that, that goes in there. Um, looks good, feels good, writes pretty nicely. I think that price is, is pretty fair. I also really love that you get a wrench with the pen to disassemble it. There are companies that make you purchase that as a separate thing. I like that they just throw it in. That makes an even more complete package, and I do really appreciate that. Solid, heavy, well-made. Uh, things I don't like so much. It's not the smoothest writer I've ever seen. Uh, it's not scratchy, it's not unpleasant, but it is. I have seen smoother nibs. So this might be something I would smooth out a bit for my use. But again, it's very subjective. Some people love that kind of feedback. Uh, for me, it could be a little bit smoother. Doesn't post. At least not securely. I mean, you can sort of, kind of make it work, but it's not super solid, I have found, um, unless you really push it. And then I'm afraid I would crack the acrylic on the inside. So I'm trying to not do that. To be fair, if you were to do that, you'd and that sort of thing happens. Uh, you would end up with a very big, heavy pen. All oh, this is crack. No, it isn't. <laughs> uh, no, everything is fine. Um, if you were to do that, I'm just going to do the half twist thing that sometimes works like you would end up with a very big pen it's very top heavy i'm not saying you would really need to post this but if you have some people absolutely must post each pen well you can't buy this it's that simple besides that i think that's all i have solidly made pen fun pen looks nice if if the chrome is not your thing you can get a gold overlay if the blue is not your thing you can get other colors there's a nice sort of smoky gray there's a nice red the red and gold look quite nice but i personally i prefer the, the blue and silver i just like that, that that color combination so there's different options box no box etc i love it i think it's great so nice pen thank you to asvine for sending me this i really appreciate it I hope this was useful and I'm glad to see you later.